everyone, I'm Alicia Fioletta, Senior Editor of Retail Touchpoints, and I have joining me uh, Larry Meyer, who is CEO of Uniqlo USA. Larry, thanks so much for taking the time. My pleasure to be here. So, needless to say, uh, 2013 was a pretty strong year for Uniqlo, so um, I guess to start out our conversation, why don't you share a little bit about the company's growth, what you guys have gone through the past year. It was a terrific year for us in 2013 from the point of view of seeing the way the American customer has welcomed the brand in a broader area. Just to, a little background, we're in our Soho store, which has been a flagship since 2006, and we opened Fifth Avenue in 2011, and we opened 34th Street in 2011, and this year we added 12 stores, and in the fall, 10 stores, uh, and expanded in, in the Northern California area and around the New York area. It seems like you guys are really accelerating when it comes to opening up new stores. We're really happy. The customer has welcomed us. Uh, we pride ourselves on uh, providing great products and great service. And it seems like we're hearing more and more about this whole concept of fast fashion, right? Which is something that a lot of um, a lot of media outlets and the industry in general seems to lump Uniqlo into. So what are your thoughts on this whole fast fashion uh, phenomenon that's happening? Well, fast fashion is... Uh, it, in my mind has been around for a long period of time and we're about improving the fashion of classic looks. We are more into working on our products from the point of view of improving the, the functionality of it, making our ultralight down jacket both warmer and lighter to wear or our heat tech warmer and more comfortable with more colors. I don't consider us a, a fast fashion company, I consider us a uh, provider of quality fashion, quality basics, uh, and uh, a great value. Would you be able to walk us through, you know, the typical in-store browsing and buying experience, you know, whether through the Soho store or just, you know, the in-store concept in general you guys try to follow? Well, through? we provide ourselves on uh, on consistent execution. We spend a lot of time and energy folding our products right. or stacking, making all of our rows very even so that the customer has ease of seeing the product, understanding the price points very well. We put some POP that explains what the function of the product is, how it was made. We feel our, uh, our customer is very uh, smart and to the, uh, we like to provide uh, our customer with a lot of information about the product. So you guys put content and information and resources right in front of them. And we put a lot of information, but you notice we never have a Uniqlo brand on the lapel because the founder doesn't believe that you should be a billboard for us. You should think about the clothes as making you better, not about advertising Uniqlo. That's part of the philosophy. It's about feeling good, about uh, making it easier to live, staying warm with less weight, whisking away sweat through our errors and product, great value in our denim and our cashmere. That's what uh, Uniqlo is about. So you really let the product speak for, for itself? Uh, that's the philosophy of the brand and the service. We spend a lot of time working with our people to be supportive, not overbearing. They are there to help you find a size. They are there to explain why the product is what it is, and uh, to help you um, uh, find, find the product within the store, as we have a lot of items within our store. So as a growing company, you know, growing at such a, a rapid pace, I might add, um, what is Uniqlo doing from a marketing perspective? Obviously, we've talked a lot about the product, but how are you guys getting the word out there? Anything special? I, we spend uh, a lot of time on in-store marketing when we're in, a, in mall marketing, when we move to a mall location. We have billboards throughout the city. We turned on the television this year. So we've done a constant uh, mix of uh, marketing. And uh, this year we had uh, consistently strong sales. So some of it, something's working. Pro probably it's the whole package. Uh, but we're happy with the overall marketing mix at this particular right. point. And obviously we're still early days in uh, 2014, but I could imagine it's going to be another big year for you guys. Yes, uh, next year uh, we're entering uh, three new markets. We'll expand uh, to Los Angeles on the West Coast and Southern California. We will open up in Philadelphia and we will open up in Boston, as well as expand within the New York metropolitan area and California. And we have a very strong online business for those people who visit us, find the product, or want to know about the product. We provide a lot of the information online as well as the ability to buy online. 
So you guys are, are really striving to create that seamless, compelling experience across all channels. That's our objective. Uh, we can still do better. It's an ongoing process of relating the uh, bricks and mortar to our online experience. But they are both uh, about the product, providing information to the customer about our product, and uh, making it easy for our customer to buy. I personally believe you guys are doing a great job so far. Well, thank you. So I'm um, looking forward to a, a fantastic year ahead, and congratulations again on the success you've seen so far. Well, thank you very much. Well, thanks again, Larry, so much for taking the time my, out to speak with me today. My pleasure. And uh, thanks everyone out there for watching.